Hello and thank you for watching this video on uh, Key Stage 4 Music. So uh, the Key Stage 4 Music is a BTEC, full name being the BTEC Tech Award in Music Practice Level 1 slash Level 2. Before we get started, I thought we'd just cover a quick sort of uh, thing about why to take music, why it's so important within the world. Um, so it's, first off, it's not just for the artist. It's not just for someone who wants to get on stage and perform. There are so many other jobs within the music industry. It's really very much a business. So you could, there's other jobs such as live sound technician, producer, booking agent, music therapist, and the list really does go on and on. Um, another great aspect of music and why it's great to pick is sort of the uh, mental health aspect behind it. Um, it's been seen to reduce stress and depression vastly, which is really great in these sort of modern times, especially when you're going into Key Stage 4, and you've got a lot of heavy subjects that can be quite stressful, a lot of writing, and having a subject that you can fall back on for three hours each week, there's a bit more um, recreational, so to speak, uh, having sort of that is can be really helpful towards your mental stress, and also uh, it does help with your cognitive performance, your ability to think and work your way around uh, problems. And then uh, lastly, it just says here that the music industry made around 4.7 billion last year. So the music industry really is here to stay. It really is a business. Components. There are three components or assessed areas during the two year course. Uh, these areas are developed, are designed, sorry, to develop your practical and theoretical appreciation of music. So the first component, and we'll go through each component uh, after this. Component one is exploring music products and styles. Component two is music skills development and music. Uh, component three is responding to a commercial brief. So the three components and each one is there to sort of uh, check your um, ability to play or create or check your ability to understand what the topic that we're looking into. Component one, exploring music products and styles. So this is here to develop your appreciation and understanding of various styles and genres within music. So um, you'll look into different genres of music and you'll look into the characteristics of these genres uh, and you'll start to get a better understanding of what these character, how these characteristics make the genre and then you'll try and create your own version of this genre, your own song uh, as a result to show that you have understood. So for example, if we did something along the lines of jazz, you know that the in instruments within jazz could be uh, um, saxophones, double basses, all these sort of situations. So you think about adding those within your uh, creation. And then and we do that for a number of different genres and create a number of different areas so you can get a better idea of how you can adapt to different genres of music and different ways to create music. Component two, musical skills development. So here you'll develop and refine your skills in your chosen instrument. So um, yeah, you'll choose an instrument of your own, whether that be guitar, piano, singing, drums, dual drums, whatever instrument that you want to choose to do with, and you'll basically get learning with it, uh, along with filling out a performance diary just each week about how you're getting on with your thing and what you need with your instrument and how you can improve for the next week. Along with that, obviously you have myself and we have other, um, instrumental teachers that come in to help you with your um, with your uh, progression in playing the instrument. Along with that, uh, another musical skills development sort of aspect is the production side of music. So you look into a thing called GarageBand, which is a piece of recording software, and we learn how to record, edit, and promote songs. So you learn how to record your songs that you can create, and you learn how to promote them and to make sure that they sound as good as they can. So there's the performance side of like learning instrument. There's also the recording side of how to get your get your music music out into the world. Finally, component three, responding to a commercial brief. So this last component is kind of like um, an amalgamation of the first and second component in a way to sort of show how much you have learned. So nearing the end of the course, you'll be given a commercial brief. Now, commercial brief is basically just a uh, uh, it'll be like, a, for example here, write a piece of music for a festival. So you'll be given that kind of brief. There'll be a few more little uh, bits that come along with it to sort of make it a bit more specific. But then you must create a piece of music for a festival, whether that be playing your guitar or playing your drums or something or recording it on a, a computer. Um, and you must write a piece of music for a festival and then 
ha upload that as your uh, response to the commercial brief. So it's almost to show that your ability in understanding what you need to do, being able to implement it, and also your understanding that you uh, can sort of view this as like a business that they've asked you for something and you can return it in favour. So those are the three components that we look in that we look into. It's very much a performance based um, topic, a very much performance based uh, curriculum. Uh, there is writing, obviously, but it's very much there to back up your understanding. So then you can go and write and perform and create in your own way. It's great. It's a great subject to do, and it's a great uh, course to do if you're looking to have something a bit more performative. Thank you very much.